Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to cover the differences between free and paid themes. Up to this point, all we have seen so far is, is our free theme that we installed. And for most of this course, we're only going to use free themes, but I'm probably going to also add in at least one or maybe two paid themes in case people want to go down that route. What we're going to do here is we're just going to log into the back end of our website. Remember, that's going to be your domain name slash WP hyphen login. Don't worry about the rest of this here. It's just because I just logged out before this. So your website domain name forward slash WP hyphen login. And then once at that page, we log in. And if we wanted to add a free theme, which we have done before, we go to appearance and then themes. And a way to browse the new themes, you want to click Add New here at the top. And then the best themes that usually you can find them, if you want to search for a particular style, like if you want a blue theme, you can type blue here. I would make sure that the theme is also responsive, which means it can be viewed on any device. An example of a responsive theme would be something like this, where you can resize it and it will adjust each time. See, it will get smaller, 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 and then it will break, and then it will be smaller here. And it will adjust again. This will be viewable on an iPad, and then it will get smaller and smaller to the point of what it would look like on a phone. On a website that's not responsive, it can, for one, be penalized by Google because it's not responsive, but it also will not break and resize like that. It'll be very difficult to read when you're on a mobile device or an iPad. Now, if you want to look for the most popular free themes, you simply just click Popular. And at the top, they're going to have a lot of themes like their own default ones that come with the site. So these are always going to be at the top. But if you scroll down a little more, you can see other free themes. For example, the one we're using, Xerif Lite, is a popular free theme. And there's different, all different styles here for whatever you're trying to do. There are thousands of free themes on here that you can use. So I'm sure if you're looking for something, you can probably find it for a free theme. However, I should mention that these free themes are not always updated regularly like a paid theme would be. And I think that's the biggest drawback from these themes. If they don't stay up to date with the WordPress updates, and WordPress does update fairly often, then the site can have a lot of problems and technical issues. So sometimes it is better to use a paid website, a paid theme, I should say. Examples of a paid theme site would be this one right here, which I just was on, themeforest.net. That's themeforest.net, and I simply went into the WordPress category when I got here. It says there's over 6,000 WordPress themes and templates available. And just to show you one, let's just go to this one right here, and we'll show you an example of a paid one. And this says $44 for regular license and you can live preview what it would look like. There's all different kinds of themes on here as well. And in this live preview, I want to mention that it does look like a very nice site and everything like that, but I should mention that it won't always come as this looks like right here, as this demo looks like. Sometimes it will come and look nothing like this, and you're wondering if you even got what you paid for. So you have to set it up to look anything like how it does here on this website, as the live preview does. Another example of a paid website source that I actually personally use and have used them for a couple of years now is Elegant Themes. And we're going to actually use a paid theme from Elegant Themes at a later point in the, in the course. This will probably be the last theme that I do is the paid one. And I'm going to use a theme from here that is a drag and drop type theme just to show you the capabilities of a theme like that. Um, there's many themes on this site and it says 87 themes for the price of one. I believe the price costs around $70 or something like that. But this is a good place where you can view a lot of different types of themes and see what there is in the paid theme market because it is, it is something to be aware of, that there are themes out there that are paid for that are constantly updated regularly, and they stay up to date with WordPress, which is very important. 
I will say this is also a membership type site where you have to pay a yearly subscription. So it's not like you just buy the subscription. It's a one-off. It's a yearly scheduled subscription. With that being said, I hope this gives you a little bit of a better idea of the differences between paid and free themes. Thanks for viewing, everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the support section, as always.